And we are back in the charity shops. This is footage from before Christmas. Speaking of which, Merry Christmas, everyone. I am probably probably forgot to do it beforehand. So I'll do it now. Merry Christmas and New Year is just around the corner. I'm actually recording the voiceover uh, the day before this is going out. And as you can see, at some point, I did pick up a Buzz Lightyear and thought about purchasing a broken Buzz Lightyear for around a fiver. I didn't actually see what that label said, uh, but I would imagine it was at least a fiver. But you can see that the uh, the jetpack wings, the jetpack wings, don't work correctly, and they still want a decent amount for it. Uh, they they don't pop out. None of the the none of the uh, the sounds are working properly. And uh, just a quick look at the a scan through the board games. Nothing really too crazy there. Everything's probably bloody expensive anyway this is one of the ones in town and uh, i don't go to the ones in town very often because they are ridiculously expensive a few of the toys again nothing to be picked up there there's me and we're going around to the back of the shop over to the gents i actually think i buy something i'm sure i buy a cotton traders uh sweater thing uh, sleeveless sweater look at the shoes they are so expensive and I don't buy any of them. There we go. Look at that. Expensive. What's that one? 20 quid? Was that was that 30 then? That one's 20. It's absolutely ridiculous. I I, I do not like going to, to chains because they're a lot more expensive than they need to be. Clark's, good brand. Expensive as predicted. Uh, then we've got the clothing. Just a lot of looking at my legs at the moment. I can actually see the item we're about to pick up. Where is it? It's that lime green thing there. It's Cotton Traders. I think it's... There we go. It's like, oh, it's got a tag with it. I think I'll buy that. Three ninety nine. Bit of a steal, to be fair. Brand new with tags. I think we're looking at around £20 or so. It is actually on eBay as of right now. Uh, we didn't reopen eBay until the 26th of December. And this is going out on the 28th. So it's been open for a couple of days. And uh, I must warn you, there you go, a little stroke of the shirt. Brooks Brothers is a good brand. Uh, very high quality stuff. This is actually a nice little rail, thinking about it. There is some nice brands on here. But the uh, the, the pricing is just far, far, far too big. Reese, 15 bloody quid. That's me almost dropping the GoPro in despair. It's a shame, because if that was like a fiver or a tenner, I'd probably be buy it, because it'd be worth buying to sell it. But at 15 quid, it just sucks all the profit out of it. It really does. But they're looking for someone to buy it for themselves, which I completely understand. It's just, um, I don't think anyone's going to buy it for a, a couple of weeks, if not a couple of months. Uh, I think this is disgusting as well, from memory. River Island. So it's not a massive brand. 20 quid. No, it's probably only like 40 quid, brand new. Maybe 50. Nike. And how much is that? 25 pounds. Have a bit of that. God, that's terrible, isn't it? Regatta. Land's End. What else do we have? Anything else? Anything else? I don't think I'll buy anything else. I'm fairly sure we just nipped into town and the wife and daughter went to Boots and I was like, yeah, I'm going charity shopping. I'll see you in 10 minutes. Brand new with the tags. What do we have? Seven ninety nine. I don't think it's worth picking up. Uh, anything else? Main. Uh, anything else? No. Timbland. Oh, yeah, this is expensive. 15 bloody quid. Let's have a look. 15 bloody quid. Oh, it's just... It, oh, and it's going to sit there. I guarantee... Like the, the bit of clothing that I picked up, the guy behind the counter said it had been in there for about two or three months already. Now, if it's a bargain price, and this is what we go charity shop hunting for, it's for a bargain. And if they're sitting there for like three or four months, it's not a bargain. Oh, oh, I didn't know I got this on camera. I don't even know why I'm scanning it. James, it's brand new with the tags and it's 130 quid. They only want £15 for it. It's not going to scan it because the signal is absolutely terrible. But it's going to try and find it anyway. And it's not going to happen. Not that you can see much. All you can really see is my face with the uh, with the light behind it. 
but this is a brand new with tags new look new look next definitely next i think maybe 130 quid it was and it got gift aided as well and i think they only wanted 15 quid for it so yeah it's not going to find it i'm I, but i do buy it i know i do because i've already listed it and i'll just hook that onto my backpack on the side so that i can walk around without actually having to hold it it's um i am a walking coat hanger uh looking at other bits i don't think there's anything else but i was speaking to uh the workers or one of the workers who said well no one's going to pay even 30 quid for it even if it is brand new with the tags which is completely understandable because no one is going to pay 30 quid for it but again t-shirts now that have been there for three or four weeks if it was me personally i'd, I'd start reducing the price but i'm not a uh, manager of a store not yet anyway that looks like a a minion fur coat what's the bad guys called ah uh, this is a pickup oh my god oh my god the fact that i got this on camera as well is unreal just so you're aware as of me recording the voiceover for this i have sold that briefcase for 130 pounds plus shipping i've literally just packaged it up an hour ago and i'm going to try and find it online because for some reason i th i think it i don't know umming and ahhing but it, it's worth doing and i'm going to talk about it later but see that popper at the back which doesn't quite line up i got it to line up and um, but yeah i've sold it already and you'll see that next week but you're not going to find it james because that barcode um isn't in use there's no someone has tried linking it to something else and it's just yeah it's just not there I think at this point I have put it back or left it on the shelf thinking I'll probably buy that but I can't hook that onto my uh, my backpack so I'm going to leave it there but yeah £4.50 that is £4.50 so Revelation is a decent suitcase brand to look out for that is one hell of a bolo there's a bit of a dink in the top there which actually comes out it disappears quite a bit once a bit of heat has got to the suitcase but it's antique tan it's 001 001 on both sides i do like a briefcase there we go it's in hand it is secured and is there anything else no back to one of the regulars that i tend to go to at least once a week normally twice a week you can see there's an xbox in front of us there's also a couple of old school monitors there is a big mini mouse clock i think it's on a foot it's got a fiver on it and I'm fairly sure I do find it on eBay for about a fiver. Which is a shame. I thought it would have been at least like 15, 20 quid to be honest. But no, it is only a fiver. And uh, it's not actually worth picking up. Which is a shame. I don't think there's a barcode on it. Which is why I couldn't scan it. So, but the, the Tommy Tippy stuff is probably a good buy as well. Uh, but just leaving it there for, for someone who needs it to be honest. But I think I end up putting in Minnie Mouse wall clock and it do, it does come up with the exact same one and there's absolutely no profit in it whatsoever. There we go. Minnie Mouse clock wall thing. £7.50 or best offer plus shipping. That's so disappointing. So disappointing. So needless to say, it gets left there. Uh, is there anything else that we look at? I'm not too sure to be honest with you. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, but I forgot about the magic stuff. So I end up picking up pretty much everything. So there's a deck box, um, like protector, and there's actually a deck as well. And as you can see, there's four of them. Uh, that's me just shaking it to see whether there's actually anything in there. Uh, there's a a mat, which is brand new. I think it's from 2016, off the top of my head so that gets picked up as well i'm fairly sure i end up just sort of throwing everything on top of the uh, counter be like i'll be back in a minute because there's quite a, a lot of a lot of bits here three of those bags one pound 50 each uh, i think i'll go through in more detail uh, what i think they're from 
There you go, that Mickey Mouse mug is still there from at least a week ago. But three satchel bags, Magic the Gathering, I believe from 2012. £1.50 each, thank you very much. But yeah, glad I got that on camera as well. I think I spent about 30 quid that day. So it's nice to go in and just not clear the shelves, but to spend some money in the charity shop because obviously it's for charity and I get to make a few quid out of it as well. Do I buy the bulbs here as well? I think I do. There's just some more shaking. Yep, shake, shake. Uh, this is where someone comes and stands next to me and this is where I think I turn the camera off. If it's not now, it'll be in a few minutes' time. A few moments' time. There we go, those bulbs. They are £1.50 each. I don't think I've listed them yet, though. I have saved a listing uh, on eBay so that I know that I can sell similar. So I can nick all of the details. There's my face. There we go. Scan it through, and you'll see that they are selling for £9.12, including free delivery. Uh, it will be a small parcel. But let me go just check it. There we go, 9.12 and 7.49. So we know that there was money to be made there. And I buy 11 of them at £1.50 each. Xbox 360, I think that's down at 20 quid, maybe 25. In hindsight, with this being recorded just before Christmas, I probably should have picked it up and just got rid of it quickly. It would have been a nice quick flip. I think I'd end up just opening the one just to make sure that it is intact. And there you go. You can see it all looks right as rain. So we end up going to the front of the uh, of the charity shop and picking up a bag. Because there's quite a bit. Although I've already picked up the one. Let's see, I'm looking at the basket. Can I just fit everything in the basket? But then the basket's for sale. So no, I'll leave that behind. I will go pick up a bag. Yep, I'll have everything, please. Thank you. I know that the guy that does appear to my left at some point does buy a couple of bulbs at 10 bob each. Uh, now we're back into the, the toy section because the guy's actually now left and I can have a proper dig through. But he decided to stand next to me just to, to buy the one bulb. There's a Thompson a tank engine back there as well. Uh, I, I'm not particularly great at Thomas stuff, although I know Master of Pieces have picked up a few. There's some Mega Blocks. I was thinking about it, but it's quite a big bag. It's big and bulky. It's going to weigh a fair amount as well. Probably not much profit in it. Is there anything there that I didn't look at? Uh, where are we now? We're in a different charity shop. That is... I can't see that from here. But that is Betty. Betty? Nope. Little Bo Peep. That's the word I was looking for. Uh, just looking in to make sure it's not anything else. But there's nothing there really, is there? Even looking at it with, a, with fresh pairs of eyes a week later. Can't really see anything. Uh, I think that looks quite interesting. But I didn't pick it up. I don't know why. I didn't even look at it. Uh, like online, I just thought, no. That was an epic catch. I don't think you quite saw that. But that was uh, Ninja Reflexes to the rescue. Any clothing? No. Nope. I look at this Micro Machines thing. And I, I'm fairly sure I do look at it. And there are ones in far, far, far better condition online. You can see that on the side, the sticker's quite worn. Uh, but the ones that are online are actually in far better condition. I mean, look at that. That has been well played with. Which, to be fair, that's what toys are for. They are there to be played with. But it's got no micro machines. Did I buy the micro machines from here last time? No, I didn't. No, the loose micro machines from a different shop. So there is money to be made. I think that was up for three quid. But as I say, the ones that were online were in far, far, far better condition. So we ended up just leaving them there. There we go. 1999 Micro Machines. Playset. Is that what I'm going for? Playset. I think so. Find it straight away. There we go. £20. But you can see the condition is a lot better than what I've got in front of me. So they end up being left behind. And we go to zoom in and you can see the difference in the quality. And that one's actually got a few micro machines with it as well. So that will be left behind. Uh, On to the gaming section. Slash DVDs. Now, 
I think I only picked up three. And then they said, oh, yeah, it's four for a pound. So I ended up going back to that section. I think I just bought the whole lot, to be honest. There we go, Tomb Raider. And there's not mad amounts of profit, but when they're like 25 pence each and with Christmas around the corner, I, I had to just buy everything. And I think I ended up listing it and then closing my eBay down the day after, so nothing really got a chance to sell. Although, that Modern Warfare 3 has already sold. Uh, and it sold yesterday, Boxing Day, for me. So, I don't know why. Like At the moment, I think there may be 50p a pound each, and I'm not too sure, so I'm being very selective as to what I buy. And then the lady behind the till was like, yeah, they're, they're, they're four for a pound. It's like, yep, I'll buy everything, thanks. Still not bought a DVD or a single DVD uh, since I got rid of all of the others. Um, but there we go, Steelbook, lovely jubbly, worth about 15 quid off the top of my head. Very shaky camera, it's making me feel sick. Uh, Samuel Windsor, good brand. And then you look inside and it's quite a, an ugly looking shoe. It needs a lot of cleaning. I mean, if you're going to charge like 20 quid, I think it is, for a pair of shoes in the charity shop, you'd stick a wet wipe in there, wouldn't you? What is it? Yeah, 20 quid. For 20 quid, you, yeah, you would just not polish them. Oh, they're nice. Jones, they are pretty. They are very pretty. I like the blue soles as well. Clark's another good brand. Everyone knows Clark's shoes. 25 quid, they can bloody stay on the shelf. But I was drawn to the box, so I thought they might be brand new. But they are definitely not. Right then, so it's time for, well, showing you the stuff that I bought throughout the week. It is currently Christmas Eve, Friday, and we've bought quite a bit. Uh, so I've got a, a list next to me. I've done a tiny bit of research. So what I'm going to do is grab a random item, tell you what I paid for it, and tell you what I think I'm going to make on it. Uh, right, we'll start with... This jacket, this is, oh, is this the Hobbs one? I think it is, yeah, right. So the Hobbs jacket cost me six pounds, which it says there on the tag. Uh, however, there's a bit of an issue with the sleeves. You can see the inner lining is all torn and broken. Even so, I reckon 20, 30 pounds, we'll say 30, for the sake of what I wrote down yesterday. It's just a shame about the lining being broken, but, I didn't look at that when I was uh, looking through the rails. So six pounds into potentially 30. Next up is a Ted Baker, like almost like a tote bag. I paid eight pounds. I'm gonna aim high and try and get 20 plus shipping, which I know is very, very high, but it's quite a nice bright floral design. So fingers crossed, I'll be able to get some money on it. And then we have Zane from One Direction. He is supposed to sing. Uh, however, his batteries are currently not working. Um, but brand new in the box. It just needs batteries. Pay £2. We should be looking at, according to my notes, fingers crossed between 30 and 40. Uh, most of these that are brand new are not being sold in the UK. Uh, and I've seen some silly prices in international waters. So fingers crossed. Between 30 and 40 for Zane from One Direction that sings, that's what makes you beautiful. Then potentially the find of the week, we have a briefcase. It is by Revelation and it's got the code and everything. If we look inside, it looks a little bit oh, like that. Now, of course, proper leathery. The only thing is, see this bit here, where the leather is sort of shrunk and got tighter, I can't quite get it to clip anymore, which is a massive pain in the bum. Uh, as for pricing, I've, I've written down between 30 and 130 because there's, oh, there's, there's, there's so many. And trying to date it is quite hard. I mean, it's got the barcode, which quite frankly means very, very little because barcodes were used on most like shops and, and things like that in like 1966, that sort of era. So... It's between 1966 and now. If you do a QR code scanner type thing on the barcode, it brings up some random briefcases, which are nothing, not briefcases, suitcases, which are nothing like this. So, I don't know, I'll probably put it on for 150 and take offers, 
but it cost me four pound fifty. I've got absolutely no idea. Um, so if anyone can help, it would be greatly appreciated. We just show you the uh, that's the tag, and then that's the inside. So if anyone has any knowledge of the inside of the tag and whether that can help date it, that'd be fantastic. Then we bought some video games. Uh, oh, so we've got Gears of War. Cost me two ninety nine. Uh, Gears of War, Gears of War should be about thirteen pounds plus shipping. Then we've got uh, Resonance of Fate. Cost me one pound. We should be looking at approximately eight pounds plus shipping. Let me just bring this up. Uh, so it looks like I'm always looking at the camera. Hang on, let me swap hands. Okay, so we've got Halo. Pay 25 pence, should be able to get around three pounds plus shipping. FIFA 13, pay 25 pence, should get about a pound back plus shipping. I presume this is Modern Warfare 3, I'm not looking at it. Pay 25 pence, about four pound plus shipping. This should hopefully be FIFA 12. Pay 25 pence, should get two pound back plus shipping. The, the games were all four for a pound, so that's why I, I got those are rubbish titles. Uh, this should hopefully be Tomb Raider, pay 25 pence, four pound plus shipping. Then this feels like Black Ops 2 Steelbook version, pay 25 pence, should get around 14 pounds back plus shipping. This is hopefully, oh no, that's FIFA 12. Something went very wrong. Uh, oh, GTA 5 then was that back there. That should have been seven pound plus shipping. FIFA 12, as I said before, two pound. And then this is fours of four, probably looking at around four pounds plus shipping for that. Uh, what else did we buy? I bought, this is at the start of the week, I bought this on Sunday actually, and I paid three pound 99 for this Cotton Traders, what do they call it exactly? They call it a Cotton Tank Top Woodland 2XL. Should be looking at approximately, if I can bloody find it, which I can't, hang on a minute. Paid 3 99 should be getting around £20 back plus shipping for that. Lovely jubbly, brand new tags, it should be a really nice and simple listing. <laughs> I bought this as well. It's one of the first items I bought on Monday, I think. It's from Next, it's brand new with the tags. It retails at one thirty. I paid fourteen ninety nine. I think in reality, I'm going to be aiming for between 80 and 100. It's brand new with the tags. It shows it's supposed to be 130 quid brand new. The only thing is, is it going to be harder to shift post Christmas? More than likely. But it's a decent size. It's a medium. It's a neutral colour. It's grey. Fingers crossed. To be fair, I don't even care because it's going to go up in the loft for like a year. I really couldn't care less. Bought a remote control Light McQueen from, I believe because of the sticker, is from Cars 3. However, it came with this and everything I've seen online has a completely different remote. So I don't know what's gonna happen with this. I've got to try and fire it up and find out whether it works or not. If I'm very, very lucky, I might be able to get five pound back plus shipping as it's not particularly rare. And with Christmas behind us now, I'm just seeing this, it could take a while to shift. I bought 11 of these bulbs for £1.50 each, so they cost me £16.50. Generally speaking, these are going for around, uh, but I say around, they're going for exactly £9.12 pence all in on eBay in the UK. International, they're going for far, far more. So even if I round these off at a fiver each um, for the 11, we should be getting back around £55. So I'm gonna aim for, five pound plus shipping and then like no how many you buy the shipping is going to be the same that's the plan with those anyway I bought some magic stuff uh, i paid in total i think it was seven pounds so we've got some decks which are brand new uh, which is one of those and that's brand new they're not worth a great deal this is opened that's opened there's some deck boxes this is the one that i can't find but the commander Deck is quite, like everything Commander from 2017, is it? Yeah, 2017. It's fetching a rather high price. So I don't think it's going to be worth a great deal. But then again, if someone is trying to collect the Commander series, 
it could be worth a decent amount of money to the right person. So if anyone can help me with that, what is the deck box with the 100 Ultra Pros worth? I've tried the barcode so far, it's brought up absolutely nothing. We've also got some other deck boxes that look like that. They're worth around three pounds each, not a great amount. Also bought a play mat, which cost me three pounds. This exact one is selling in the US for 17 pounds plus shipping. So I'll probably go 20 pound plus shipping because there's no one in the UK selling one that's brand new and sealed. Lovely jubbly. It also came with, or at the same time, I bought three of these for one pound 50 each. Now these, this image I believe is from the 2012 core set. I've tried finding this particular bag, absolutely nothing. You do a reverse image search, and do you know what it gives you? The 2012 core set. So, is it 2012? I think I wrote 2012 down. I can't find it. Yeah, 2012 core set artwork. So, again, if anyone can help as to what these are actually worth, if you want them, please do let me know. And then the last item, which I only bought this because when we were on our honeymoon, we did stop off at Singapore. Um, we didn't actually leave the airport. And there was a shop there called... Rices, Rices, R I S I S. And they do gold plated stuff. And this guy was sitting here for six pounds. It's a little Christmas bell. So that should be gold plate, but you would do it's for summoning your minions. Uh, but if you look at the paperwork, it says, We, I can't read that backwards. We certify that this product has been plated in 999 gold and silver. Rysis PTE Limited. So, again, missed the boat because Christmas is tomorrow for me and I've already closed my eBay store. I closed my eBay store a few days ago now and it's been wonderful. Uh, but yeah, maybe next year. It's quite nice. I mean, I like the base of it more than the head. It just looks a bit tacky for me but it will be listed and it'll be thrown into a box to never be seen until next year and there we go that's everything so the, the plan now is to try and draft as much as possible um at the moment the wife is just doing prep work for sunday sunday roast christmas dinner even um so i've just got to stay out of her way really uh, but I am sous chef as and when required. But that's it for me. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. I hope you had a lovely Christmas and uh, 2022, here we come.